Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Cornelius Camp of CorneliusCamp.com, school counselor by day, real estate agent by night. Before you, or before we go any further, um, if you have not done so, or if you have not become a subscriber to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and my videos, or you will have access to all of my videos that consist of any and everything uh, real estate related. I talk about real estate news, real estate trends in different markets. Um, I mostly focus on Chicago because that is where I hang my license currently. But um, I do talk about uh, real estate marketing or real estate resources, uh, things like marketing campaigns or maybe a, a cool app that you might be able to use at an open house. Um, I talk about uh, tips to uh, do lead generation or even talk about social media strategies um, that you can help build your brand online. So, um, oh, and then the last thing I also talk about um, experiences. So I try to give like a little bit of wisdom, a little bit, a couple of nuggets here and there that either I picked up uh, from my five years in the, uh, in the industry or just from talking with some of the top producers here in Chicago. Uh, whether it be, you know, being involved in a transaction that was sort of tricky or, you know, just sitting down with them to have a cup of coffee. Um, if they have uh, been uh, gracious enough to give me uh, some wisdom and I've used it to my uh, real estate career, in turn, I want to give it to you. And hopefully that can help you out if you happen to be in a certain situation. All right. So that is what my uh, channel consists of. Again, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you become a subscriber. Today I'm just going to do uh, a real estate word of the day and this is a word that is mostly for um, uh, well actually it's for the buyers and the agents uh, mostly. For me coming from Atlanta um, when I came to Chicago I'm um, not quite sure what's the market right now in Atlanta you know that was 11 years ago when I moved here to Chicago but I know when I moved up here I was not familiar with a couple of terms um, that described certain apartments and certain um, properties that are available one I didn't know what a studio was because most of the time um, in college or you know as I was basically living at home with my parents but I would go visit some friends if they had an apartment more than likely it was a one bedroom or you know bigger never heard of a studio didn't quite know what it was um, I bought a studio or I'm sorry I rented a studio site on the scene and then when I got there I was like holy crap this is really small um, so uh, but the other thing that I was a little confused about is the term convertible and that's the word of the day that we're going to be discussing uh, the word convertible and it basically is almost kind of like an adjective to go alongside um, a particular size of an apartment. So sometimes if you see a listing, you might see the word um, one bedroom convertible or two bedroom convertible or three bedroom convertible. Um, basically, especially if you're downtown, that's really probably where you're gonna see it the most. If you live in a high rise or if you live in a downtown area, that's really where you're gonna start to see that term uh, convertible. Maybe that was new, that's why it was new to me. Um, because I mostly lived on the outskirts of Atlanta. This is the first city that I have been in where I'm close to the downtown area. Um, but again, so that's where that term is really going to pop up. And it basically just means that if you're using the term like I'm going to use it, for example, here, a one bedroom convertible, you might see that on the listing or description of a property. And it basically is this, it's a one bedroom apartment but you have another room that can either be used as an office or it's big enough where it can be used as a small bedroom. So for instance, um, you might see a one bedroom convertible and you go and visit the place or you go see the property and you might see someone have that set up as their office if they work from home or you know have their office you know if they like reading or if they are working on writing a book or you know whatever the case is that's how they might have it set up or if you are really you know want to use your your uh your property wisely you may say hey you know what it's big enough for a room if you fit a single bed in there let me rent it out to somebody 
and then you can put you know a roommate wanted or something like that um, so you can do a, a variety of things uh, but note this it cannot be considered a bedroom if it does not have a window so that's one thing to take into consideration before you go along the lines of listing a place or um, you know putting out a roommate if it does not have a uh, window it cannot be considered uh, a bedroom I know um, I actually when I was with uh, a couple of roommates I actually stayed in a three bedroom but if you looked at it you might think oh well this is probably convertible in actuality it was a three bedroom the guy that we rented it from he used the room I had as a office but it would not be considered a three bedroom if um, it did not have a door or a window Okay, so that's what it. That's the 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 um. That's the way that it has to be in order to be considered um, an actual bedroom. Okay, um. You can also make this a convertible if you have a very very large space, um, and you decide to you know obstruct a drywall, um. Then you can it can be considered um, a two bedroom or a uh, one bedroom and a convertible. Okay, so um. That's what that term means. Again, I hope that that helped you all out because I was totally lost when I got into real estate and I was out helping some buyers and I, I was helping a guy, a single guy, so it was just him and he was looking for a one bedroom and a listing popped up and it said one bedroom convertible and he and I both were like, what the heck is a convertible? And um, you know, so I had to just go and check it out from there for myself because I didn't know what it was, I had never heard of it. Um, you know when i bought my first place it was with my wife so obviously we didn't need a one bedroom convertible we needed a two bedroom um so you know that that's my experience in on it so um i thought you guys may end up being in the same situation that i was in where you've never heard of it so i wanted to give you that little bit of insight in case you ever come across that in your um search for a home or if you're a real estate agent and you happen to send this property over to one of your buyers and they ask you what is a convertible you can explain it to them all right so that was the word of the day like i mentioned earlier if you have not done so become a subscriber to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button um, leave a comment make sure to let me know what you thought about the video what you thought about the word convertible um, let me know if you have an experience let me know if there's a term that you are confused about um, even if it, you know the definition of it, sometimes things are very, very confusing. Um, if you don't necessarily, um, you know, if you're like me, I learn it a little bit better if I hear it from somebody versus me just reading the definition. So leave a comment, let me know, and then make sure that you like the video. And if you're going to like it, make sure that you share it. Share it with your friends so we can try to get as many subscribers as possible and also to spread the knowledge of real estate um, to all those that are interested right so thanks so much for watching thanks so much for listening and like always you guys have a great day be safe and we will talk to you later take care